Welcome or welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this example, we need to find f prime of 1, the derivative of the function f of x at 1, if f of x is x squared minus 2 over x plus 5. You notice f function is a quotient, so that's the reason I'm going to use this quotient rule for finding first the derivative of f of x. And in this case, we're going to have the derivative with respect of x of x squared minus 2. So the first thing I did is this first part of the quotient rule, f prime, that's the derivative with respect of f of x squared minus 2, times g of x, so x plus 5. Now let's move to the second part of the quotient rule, this one, where we going to keep f of x, we're going to keep the numerator, be sure here the f of x means the numerator, which in our case is x squared minus 2, times the derivative of respect of x of the denominator, which in this case is x plus 5. And now the new denominator of the product rule says g of x squared, which means the denominator of our function which is x plus 5 square. So now we're going to do the derivatives, and then we have here the derivative of x squared minus 2, that is just 2x times x plus 5 minus x squared minus 2, and now we're going to do the derivative of x plus 5, which is just 1 over x plus 5 squared. This is the derivative. Of course, we can do some simplification, but I'm not going to do any simplification because I need to do f prime of 1, which means replace x of 1 in your f prime of x. So we're going to have 2 times 1 times 1 plus 5 minus 1 squared minus 2 times that one, but doesn't change anything, that one, and the denominator here is going to be 1 plus 5 squared. So let's see what we get here. We get 2 times 1, which is 2, times 1 plus 5, it's 6, minus 1 squared is 1, minus 2 is negative 1, times the 1 over 1 plus 5, it's 6, 6 squared. So we can do uh, two more steps, 2 times 6, 12, negative 1 times 1 is negative 1, over the negative becomes positive, positive 1 over 6 squared, that is 36, and that will be 13 over 36, so f prime of 1, it's 13 over 36. Of course, don't forget the derivative means the slope of the tangent line. So in this case, we're looking to the slope of the tangent line at 1. And you see the tangent line, and it should be 13 over 36. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-square for more help. Thank you.